we focus on um, working to ensure our community is one that is equitable and, and just. It's one where everyone would have access to resources, quality education, enough to eat, and a safe place to call home. This is Hourglass, the podcast for United Way of King County and Seattle. On today's first episode, United Way President and CEO Gordon McHenry Jr. will tell you all about how United Way is working side by side with communities to build an equitable future for everyone. I'm your host, Joe Burris. Thanks for tuning in. United Way of King County has served our area's communities for more than 100 years. And we've learned that though the people in our communities may come from different backgrounds, ethnicities, creeds, and cultures, the one thing we all have in common is time. Hourglass is a podcast about our time, how we spend it using our talents, our expertise, our resources, and your generous gifts to make a difference in our communities. Our CEO, Gordon McHenry Jr., led us off with a brief description of how we approach our work. He's here to tell you a little more. In this region, a lot of people appropriately are concerned with homelessness. Uh, So a lot of conversations start with the fact that people see and are thankfully bothered by the uh, amount of our residents who are unsheltered and and, and struggling. And and that's a, a great place to start. And I try to guide people to not be in a place of judgment, uh, or assumptions. Uh, these are human beings. Uh, there are there are neighbors. They can be family members. There's a lot of reasons why folks find themselves uh, homeless. And so talk about that and then talk about the fact that United Way is very active uh, in addressing homelessness because we focus on prevention and preventing people from ever becoming homeless, uh, principally through uh, eviction prevention with partners in the community and rental assistance, getting people the the, the the money they need to be able to stay in their homes. When we at United Way speak about our work, we say we lead with racial justice. We are working to transform communities through programs that address immediate needs and policy advocacy to undo systemic racism and inequality. Gordon explains why. One of the most, in, one of the most impactful books I've read in the last couple of years is Cast uh, by Isabel Wilker- Wilkerson, and it, it, it's it's in a it's a painful uh, fact based exploration of how this country uh, was constructed and designed uh, to really do harm to indigenous uh, people and communities, uh, the enslavement of, of, of uh, Africans uh, and their descendants uh, to to build the United States and. And those kinds of harms continue to exist today. And so um, we talk, So we have to talk about that at the United Way. Uh, and when I talk about racial equity, you know, action steps uh, to address uh, racism, systemic and structural racism, it's racial equity uh, in pursuit uh, of the goal of racial justice. And, 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 and because we also talk about the the reality of uh, income disparities and a wealth gap, it is, it, it's about social and racial justice. Um, and, and that's a lot of what we're doing. And at United Way, I'll be really clear with anybody who's listening, we serve the entire community. Uh, but the data, uh, quantitative and anecdotal, quantitative and qualitative data says it is right and necessary that we center uh, the living experience of our communities of color. So uh, that's what United Way is doing, serving the entire community, adapting and evolving as the community adapts and evolves, and centering our services and our advocacy on the realities, the living experience of our communities of color. When people say, why United Way? Um, why should I give to United Way? There are so many other organizations I can give to. Uh, what do you say? I thank them for making the decision uh, to invest in, in, in nonprofits, uh, to be philanthropic and to um, our community-based organizations. Uh, and that's really important. And it can show up in a lot of ways. 
and I, I say United Way uh, because we um, we do serve the entire community. Um, we 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 are close to issues of uh, basic needs in terms of housing stability, access to resources, educational access, and success. And we're able to leverage dollars. Um, so um, we we uh, are a service organization. We invest in other nonprofits, and we raise funds. And when we raise those funds. Um, we raise them from individuals. We raise them uh, from corporations. Uh, we 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 partner with the public sector, like the city of Seattle, and King County, state of Washington. Federal dollars uh, roll in that way also, and so we're able to leverage uh, the investments uh, folks make, and 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 in doing so, have uh, achieved greater impact. So that's one reason. Uh, by the nature of the work that we do and how we do it, we we think we're very well informed um, by the realities of of, of 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 the folks who are seeking services and in need of services. And we're also uh, uh, we do basic needs in every every area of United Way that is has a service delivery component. Also, is doing advocacy, looking at the. Uh, what we call the, the policies and the systems that either have created harm or tend to perpetuate harm. And so we use our experience as a community organization to advocate to change policies or to create new policies uh, to make life better uh, for folks. And when you do it on a long-term basis, then that's when you're working on systems change, actually trying to uh, fundamentally uh, transform uh, some of those systems that I mentioned uh, that Isabel Wilkerson uh, writes about um, that uh, uh, Edgar Villanueva, uh, who, who, was, who was encouraging philanthropists and community organizations to shift how they're doing to work into, way, into a way that's more racially just. You know, we're working on changing those systems uh, that have resulted in um, King County, the King County region, the Puget Sound region, having uh, significant disparities that are based upon race, ethnicity, um, location, geographic location, age, um, uh, sexual orientation. And so, you know, we, I think when you, when a person chooses to invest in the United Way, they are getting an organization that is very focused on, on doing its work uh, in, in, in terms of whole people, whole communities working fundamentally in an ecosystem with an ecosystem approach. Racial justice guides our work, and generous donor support makes it possible, enabling us to invest millions of dollars annually in programs, organizations, and initiatives to tackle big issues. And how are we doing? Well, consider the numbers. In 2023 alone, we provided nearly 5,000 households with $49 million in rental assistance and prevented nearly 100 households from eviction. We provided on-campus resources and financial supports at 10 community and technical colleges, serving more than 6,000 students with basic needs to enable them to stay focused on graduating. We provided nearly 14,000 people with tax preparation services free of charge, bringing in more than $13 million in tax refunds and credits. And we successfully advocated for state legislation that permits child care providers to operate out of their homes on homeowner association properties. These are results being felt across King County, particularly in communities of color, and we scarcely do it alone. We're partnering with a neighborhood-based organizations who know their communities best and are putting resources in their hands to affect change in their communities. The work that we do at United Way is we. It, we pro I think we have like 150 active relationships with other um, nonprofits and community-based organizations that are um, organized and existing right here in, in, in King County. And so we don't do all the work. Uh, we invest in that good work. And why do you do that? Because those organizations have a specific, oftentimes a specific area of service or they are serving a specific um, part of our community, cultural, race, ethnicity, uh, geographic. And so they've got expertise and experience, and, and we're investing in that um, expertise and experience. 
Gordon is a self-described social justice advocate who has served as senior associate of Perkins Coie Law Firm, director of public affairs for the Boeing Company, executive director of Rainier Scholars, and president and CEO of Solid Ground. His work has always engaged him in matters of the community and ultimately led him to United Way of King County, where he became CEO in 2019. And I felt like in many ways that brought it all together um, because we focus on um, working to ensure our community is one that is equitable and, and just. It's one where everyone would have access to resources, quality education, enough to eat, and a safe place to call home. And, and so my prior experiences um, all seem to say that this is the place I need to be and, and also a great place to continue to be a social justice advocate. United Way of King County partners with local organizations to help keep our neighbors housed through rental assistance. Among those partners is Wellspring Family Services, a Seattle-based organization that works to prevent residents from becoming homeless and employs early interventions when they do. Wellspring Family Services says that children who experience homelessness are 10 times more likely to become homeless again as adults, which means their children may experience homelessness as well. Wellspring Family Services works to break that cycle of homelessness among families. Its employee assistance program helps people to remain employed, thereby remaining housed. Its early learning center provides pre-K education for children of families experiencing homelessness. And its family store provides free clothing and other essential items for newborns to 17-year-olds. To learn more, log on to wellspringfs.org. Lastly, be sure to attend our Advancing Racial Equity event, revisiting Dr. Martin Luther King's lost speech at Rainier Art Center in Seattle on February 13th at 6 p.m. Hourglass is a podcast of United Way of King County, created and distributed by our brand and marketing department. A special thanks goes out to the many United Way staff across our organization who helped make this podcast possible including Chris Hines, Jared Erlinson, Archana Verma, James Taylor, Sharon Magliano Feliciano, Jean Escarera, Derek Pierce, Sneha Kanda, Jeanette Whippy, Nell Brewer, Joy Sebe, James Modi, Henny Ayers, and Olivia Porth. I'm your host, Joe Burris. Thanks for listening. Until next time.